வணக்கம் அண்ட் ஹலோ டு எவ்ரி ஒன் வாட்சிங் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் டாக்டர் இலக்கியா தேவி அண்ட் ஐவ் செக்யூர்ட் அண்ட் ஆல் இண்டியா ரேங்க் ஆஃப் தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் எயிட்டி இன் நீட் பிஜி டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் அண்ட் அண்ட் ஆல் இண்டியா ரேங்க் ஆஃப் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் எயிட் இன் இனி செட் நீட் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் லாஸ்ட் இயர் விச் இஸ் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அட்டம்ப்ட் மை ரேங்க் இன் நீட் பிஜி டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் வாஸ் செவன்டி ஒன் தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபோர்டீன் அண்ட் ஐ டிட் மை அண்டர் கிராஜுவேஷன் இன் வேலமால் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் அண்ட் ரிசர்ச் இன்ஸ்டியூட் மதுரை தமிழ்நாடு I am here to share little tips and tricks that help improve my rank and I hope will improve yours also. So, I divide this preparation or a journey into four parts. The first part is mastering the basic concepts. The second part is revisions and solving questions. Third part is grand test and fourth part is uh, the right mindset and the right guidance I would say. So, before going into the parts of preparation, I would like to give a little timeline of how I started preparation. So, I started my preparation exactly on June 1, 2024. Why exactly is because uh, during my undergraduation, I was under a huge misconception that preparing for an university exam, which is theory based, will help me score or crack uh, objective based exams like NEET PG or INISET for that matter. But uh, I was proved wrong because I was not able to attempt even a, a good number of questions when I gave my first attempt. So what I am trying to tell is that with the right mindset and the right guidance, preparing and cracking an entrance examination like NEET PG in a year is actually doable. So coming to the four parts of preparation, the first part as I told is mastering the basics. and uh, this is august so i i i think most of you by now would have started preparing or uh, joined an online and an offline uh, platform and uh, started watching lengthy videos uh, if you are on an online platform or attending regular classes for uh, uh, mastering the basics or learning the basics if you are not done previously so here i am not uh, here to tell you just to follow this platform or that platform because i am not here to confuse you if you have already started well and good continue doing it in that same platform just a few uh, things that i would like to mention is when it comes to other subjects you can uh, watch the concept videos or the main videos in 4 days or 5 days or uh, like a bigger subject means or 10 days or something but it, when it comes to pharmacology i found that watching it in 5 days or 4 days and then uh, remembering it once again is is not practical at all and most of my seniors and my colleagues who prepared also felt the same so what i thought or what i did was i uh, usually do pharmacology daily for an year and uh, uh for a, uh, an hour and a half and uh, i i felt uh, very easy when i watched dr goga sir's video in cerebellum uh, his revision videos his main videos uh, his test and discussions also helped so when it comes to pharmacology uh, i would say dedicate an hour or uh, an, an hour and a half daily uh, to study the subject and when it comes to psm again that was very difficult for me and it was very volatile for me it is very flat, factual per se except for the statistics part so that is also um, that also i am recommending you can follow dr vivek jain sir's video because it helped me a lot uh, more than his main videos i watched lot of his revision videos repeatedly on days which i felt low or which i didn't feel like studying so that is that and uh, during the uh, time that i was preparing or studying my uh, basic concepts uh, which took me around 5 months i usually dedicate an um, um, 2 hours to 3 hours in the afternoon uh, usually from 2 to 5 or something to practice mcqs and uh, the the subject that you are going to practice mcq will not be the subject that you are uh, watching videos or you are revising so i made a schedule of uh, 14 days like monday till saturday of one week and monday till saturday of the next week to um, uh, prepare an uh, schedule a schedule for uh, um, doing uh, my pyqs and uh, that will be like uh, uh, general surgery on monday general medicine on tuesday and uh, pharmacology on wednesday and i usually combine a short subject or a medium subject with another subject in order for me to fit all the 19 subjects in 14 days so i will say that uh, uh, while you are studying your concepts only you learn all the pyqs so that you will have time to do all other mcqs uh, 
uh, other than your PYQs during your revision or uh, other days. And that is the first part. So the second and the most important part in the preparation is revision and uh, solving MCQs. When it comes to revision, um, first you have to remember that before the exam, three to four revisions will help you remember most of the factual and volatile stuff. And during the second revision only, you have to start making a Choti copy or a 20th notebook, uh, which actually includes all your uh, volatile uh, topics and factual topics. And uh, usually I recommend it that you revise this Choti copy or 20th notebook daily uh, for one hour or however long you feel comfortable because only then will you be able to carry all the topics that you have read previously also on subsequent days while revising other subjects and when, when it comes to uh, solving MCQs see basically MCQs in any platform online or offline is uh, QBanks then you have uh, uh, subject tests and then you have grant tests grant tests let us talk in separately now when it comes to uh, QBanks QBanks you have to solve while you are watching your main videos uh, preferably after each topic um, you complete a topic, you open the QBank, finish off the uh, the QBank of the relevant QBank of that topic. Why? Because uh, one, you can get all the points that that is being missed in the video or all the extra points that you are learning and noted in the uh, main notes. And secondly, it kind of gives you a, a short break of from watching a video for one hour or two hours. That is for QBanks. Uh, next, uh, when it comes to uh, like short subject tests, I found uh, exam and discussions ENDs of cerebellum very very useful because uh, there are a lot of ENDs number one and all the questions of the ENDs are prepared by the staff who are teaching us, uh, the professors and at the end of uh, each END you get a video of the faculty uh, discussing the questions in live. So you can clear your doubts then and there you know uh, and it also saves a lot of time and uh, one more thing when it comes to revision that actually helped me a lot is actually BTR by Dr. Zainab Bam because uh, I used to watch her videos daily like a routine one hour or two hours uh, daily actually not even a day I skipped her videos because uh, when you sit in an exam or uh, when you do MCQs you hear actually her, you hear her voice uh, telling you that this is the answer because she revises uh, it with us. Mom also discusses uh, MCQs that she has made for uh, each subject uh, separately and that uh, that kind of helps you in solving long stem questions and um, and uh, USMLE based questions, tricky questions. She also includes all the factual and volatile uh, topics uh, in one question so that you can revise it at the last moment easily. When it comes to third part which is grand tests, do not run away from giving grand tests however low your marks are wherever in the preparation you are. I started my giving my uh, uh, grand test in the second week of my preparation in the June 2024 and I gave my GTs even when I felt my marks were bad, even when um, I didn't revise that entire week properly but I always gave my grand tests on usually on Sundays. Um, and whatever days feels uh, comfortable because I gave on Sundays because our uh, final exam is on Sunday. So grant tests are very very important. But more than grant tests, what is more important is analyzing the grant tests, all the right answers and more importantly all the wrong answers. Because only when you realize uh, what you are, what you have done wrong, only then you can know what, where you are lagging. Um, what what changes should you make to your thinking process when you approach a question again in that aspect uh, cerebellum grand tests are very helpful because one they are very close to the actual exam they simulate uh, uh, very well and uh, second thing is that the discussion that they post uh, after the grand test again is very very helpful because um, I feel initially when I was doing grand tests from uh, some other platforms I was not able to revise or analyze the whole grand tests in the, in the, in the same day um, like Sunday afternoon or something but when I started doing cerebellum grand tests I was able to actually revise and get some more time to study the topics where I was lagging. So grand tests are very 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 important 
and the final and the fourth most important uh, part of this preparation is the right mind right mindset and right guidance uh, preparing for an entrance examination like NEET PG or uh, INISET is not a sprint that you are going to uh, prepare and be get it over within just a month or so. It is actually a marathon. Um, for in, for to win an any marathon or a, a journey like this, you just need the right guidance and the right mindset. There will be days where you might feel low, where you might feel like giving up. Where, there will be days where your grand test marks are not uh, what you prepare for. The tests will not be up to the marks that you are up to what you expected, and um, uh, the difference between people who uh, get great ranks and uh, who try again lies in how you approach each time you face an obstacle, uh, be it your marks, be it your uh, day or whatever that is, will make the difference between uh, those uh, two groups. So I will say, um, don't stop at any point. And more importantly, trust the process and take it to the last minute, which is just before your examination. After all, uh, a year long process will be decided only by three hours of examination. And uh, so I will say, uh, trust the process and keep going. And I hope this video has been helpful for you all. A uh, uh, word of gratitude to the all the faculties of the Cerebellum and the Cerebellum team for giving me an opportunity to share my story and thank you very much.